Now, I will explain the procedure to connect to Kiant's Ethernet IP units. This time, I will connect the PLC and a vision sensor and set up Ethernet IP communication. These IP addresses have been set to the PLC and the vision sensor in advance. Create a new project. Then open Unit Editor by clicking here. I will connect the Ethernet IP communication via the Ethernet port built in the CPU unit, so no additional unit is needed. On this tab, you can set the IP address of the CPU if needed. Now, I'll continue with using the initial IP. Click this icon to open the Ethernet IP settings screen. Then, Select the manual or the auto configuration option. Auto configuration is a function to scan the units connected to the CPU unit via the LAN cable and automatically add it to the list. For now, I will select manual and not auto configuration. A list of Kiant's Ethernet IP units are displayed on the right side of the screen. Select the model of the vision sensor to be connected and drag and drop the unit here. Enter the IP address set to the vision sensor. In this case, the IP address has been set in advance, so click OK without changing any setting. Right-click the displayed image and select Connection Setting. The Connection Settings screen is displayed. Here you can change the RPI which is the communication interval. However, I will continue without changing the original value. Click OK to close Unit Editor. After closing, a window will prompt the new in and out variables to be created for the added units. The data within is the data received by the PLC from the vision sensor. The data without is the data sent from the PLC to the vision sensor. Enter a variable name for each variable and click OK. As you can see, no ladder program has been created yet. Let's transfer the project now and see if the connection has been properly established. I will transfer the project. In this menu, a green light next to the unit name will light up if the connection is properly established. If the connection fails, a red light will be on. Right-clicking the unit name will open a menu and the sensor I.O. monitor opens. This monitor opens with the all the registered communicating devices. These are the variables in the structure type I created. As you can see, you can check the I.O. sensor status and other conditions easily without opening the program. Since the vision sensor is in program mode and not in run mode, this run bit is off. If I change the vision sensor from program mode to run mode, the run bit turns on like this. As you have seen, Ethernet IP communication has been easily established just by selecting the unit and transferring the data. Now, let's create a ladder program. You can check the created variable for the Ethernet IP communication by double-clicking this menu. A unit in the W data type is automatically assigned to the created variable for the Ethernet IP communication. Variables and units are both available for programming. Now, let's make a program so that the PLC sends a request to trigger imaging from the vision sensor and receives the result. When creating a program, 
Check the time chart and the sample program written for the connected unit. This is the program to create. So let's enter in the data. First, I will enter a variable which will be a trigger for imaging. Next, I will enter a variable to use for Ethernet IP communication. Each variable has a comment and entering a part of the comment displays the variables that could be related. Now, the program is completed. Since this variable is unregistered, let's register it as a global variable from the right-click menu. Now, I can transfer this program to the PLC to check the performance. Now, I will transfer this program to the PLC. Transfer completed. When this variable is turned on, the PLC sends a request to trigger the vision sensor. The vision sensor takes an image, and the PLC receives the result. Now let's turn on the variable. As you can see, the vision sensor took an image, and the resulting score was received. Just by selecting the Ethernet IP unit, you can easily set up communication. This is because the information required to set up communication is already pre-registered to KV Studio. In addition, you can automatically create the variables used for Ethernet IP. Variable comments are automatically assigned making it easier to program. Now, I will introduce more useful functions related to Ethernet IP. These functions can also be used for units not made by Keyens. First, let's look at the sensor setting commands. When the sensor setting command is used, you can read write data that cannot be read or written using an implicit message. Some data that cannot be read written with an implicit message can possibly be read written with an explicit message. The sensor setting commands are used to easily execute explicit messaging. There are three sensor setting commands, SPRD, SPWR, and SSVC. These are used to read and write parameters, and to execute a sensor function. The SSVC command to perform sensor operations can only be used with Keyens Ethernet IP devices. These three commands store the execution result to the fifth operand. The layout for each result has a completion bit and a completion code. And the first through fourth word is the data that is read and written, and the fifth will be the execution result. In the image capture program, the values read with SPRD are stored in words 1 through 4. And the values to be written are also stored in words 1 through 4. Then, each command is executed. Transmission adapter settings function is used to read and write data that cannot be read written using an implicit message on KV Studio. Think of the sensor setting command as a function that can be executed from KV Studio. As you can see, you can read write the checked parameters in a batch. For parameters you do not want to read write, just remove the check mark. You can easily modify the sensor parameters from KV Studio by using transmission adapter setting. 
transmission sensor settings can modify to specified sensor parameters using a batch file from the ladder program. It is very convenient when there are changes to the setup. The sensor parameters to be modified can be listed in advance in KV Studio. As you can see, a unit is assigned for each parameter. Let's rewrite the values stored in this unit using the batch file. When writing a value, turn on the relay to request writing from the ladder program. The backup restore function is a tool to backup restore the sensor settings. To use this function, read a parameter from the connected sensor and create a backup file. The backup file can be saved in the SD card or the CPU memory. The restore function is used to rewrite the parameters using the backup settings. Typically, when a sensor is broken or the machine is to be replicated, we would have to take notes of all the sensor parameters for each sensor. Then, every sensor is manually set to match the desired parameter settings. This process can be tedious and time-consuming. If the backup restore function is used, all the settings can be backed up in a batch file. This batch can then be used to rewrite the sensor parameters to the original settings. Therefore, the time and labor necessary for sensor replacement is greatly reduced.